Mysterious beasts, creatures, and monsters said to lurk in the wild places of our world. There are occasionally those that go beyond strange to plant themselves firmly into the territory of the absurd. Melonheads are a type of nocturnal, large headed being that reportedly stalk rural roads in the northeast of the United States and which have come to be known and feared. <coughs> Number 5 Origins of the Melonheads a top-secret government project which was doing experiments out in the wilds of Lake County for who knows what nefarious purposes. The subjects underwent some sort of drastic experiments on their brains, which caused their heads to become ballooned and deformed. These subjects, over time, craved some sort of contact with the outside world and are said to have escaped to make their way to civilization. Unfortunately, they soon realized that civilization did not want anything to do with them and their hideous visages, and so the forlorn freaks trudged back out into the wilderness to live forever in seclusion. <coughs> Number 4. Melonhead Sanctuary A group of teenagers who were traveling through Wycliffe, Ohio in 1964 passed by one of the bizarre creatures standing by the side of the road, just staring at them. When they slowed the car down to get a better look, the creature scurried off into the wilderness and the teens decided to give chase. They made their way through the brush and trees until they allegedly came to a clearing in which sat an old-fashioned house with an older couple sitting leisurely on the porch with several of the melon heads milling about them. In a surreal scene, none of the teens could quite believe. <coughs> Number 3. Gone in a Flash in 2001, a witness known only as Tony claims that he had been out traveling the dark roads of Melonhead Territory in Chardon, Ohio, trying to find any truth to the legends. Up until then, he had driven back and forth along these remote roads and found nothing except the still dark and quiet trees of the forest. But as he was about to leave, he claims that he looked out the window to have seen one of the creatures running alongside the car going around 40 to 50 miles per hour. Interestingly, rather than being a short dwarfed being as the legends say, he described this one as standing perhaps 5'7", although with the same spindly limbs and outsized heads as in the lore. The creature apparently kept pace with the vehicle for a time before veering off back into the woods. <coughs> Number 2. Felt Mansion Encounter In yet another relatively recent account, a woman named Kelly Top claims that she had a run-in with the Melonheads as she was poking around the abandoned Felt Mansion in Lake Township in Algon County, Michigan. While exploring the ruins of the old estate with some friends, she says that she happened to spy a man standing some distance away and that she soon realized that there was something rather <coughs> Number 1. Grand Theft Auto by Cryptid In the 1980s, a group of girls were out on a joyride one Friday night. The group decided to take a ride down Dracula Drive for kicks, knowing full well all about the dark folklore of melon heads that orbited it. As they turned onto the secluded road, none of them thought they would actually see one of the beasts, and they even parked their car to get out and explore. It would apparently be a decision they would soon regret. As they walked down the road, giggling and trying to spook each other with scary stories, they allegedly heard the door of their car open, after which it started up and then actually came driving towards them the mysterious thief obscured by the dark and blinding headlights. The car barreled towards them, forcing them to jump off into the tree line, and when they looked around, they would finally see the car thieves within the vehicle as it passed. They were described as child-sized humanoids dressed in ragged clothes and with humongous heads and wide eyes that glowed with an orange light. 